Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. Hey, listen, I've got a customer that's got a 9220 and he's having some auto steer issues um, with the auto steer kicking off and then and also uh, the auto steer not wanting to engage. And then he is getting some SSU codes on the tractor and so he doesn't know exactly what codes he has. So we're going to go out and take a look at that and uh, check that out for him. And I've brought a eh valve electronic portion of the auto track valve with me uh, seen some issues with that in the past so brought that part with me so maybe we can get him up and going okay guys so here's this 9220 and we're gonna get up there and uh, pull the codes on it and see what auto steer codes that we're getting so i've got the fuse panel off here and we have to move this spare fuse over into the diagnostic port here if we're going to use the onboard diagnostics to look at the code and that's pretty quick sometimes rather than connecting service advisor and going that route we'll do a quick quick check here so we're in diagnostic mode there as you can see so if we take our turn signal and go one click to the right it'll show all here in the corner post display so if we pull back on the flash to pass here on our turn signal then it'll change that to a zero zero one okay there's our ssu looks like we've got a 182 and a 042 and a 052 and a 180 and end okay so we'll take a look at those codes in service advisor and see what they are and that 182 i've got a pretty good idea that that's probably the electronic portion of the steering valve causing that 182 code and that 182 is probably uh, i'm pretty sure that's probably our problem that ssu 182 will be stored it says if the ssu commands the eh valve to move or to flow but detects little or no results of movement on the steering angle sensor which the angle sensor is in the articulating or the uh, yeah articulating part of the four-wheel drive tractor and so if that command is made but the tractor doesn't move then it's going to hit that code and then the result would be to disengage the auto track or not to engage the auto track either way and uh, so there's about three steps to go down through and check that We're taking a look real quick at our valve this is underneath the front axle on the tractor on the right hand side inside frame rail okay this is our auto track valve and the front part of this is the eh valve that we're going to replace and so i found out uh, that it's really a lot easier rather than removing all the hoses and lines and removing the valve is just to drop this bracket that bolts to the frame just drop it down out of your way okay and then blow all the dirt off and clean that up really good before you change that uh, eh valve the electronic portion of the auto steer valve we got our bracket dropped down out of the way here so we can get to the electronic portion of the auto steer valve and it's got four allen head cap screws that hold it on the front of this valve block and this five millimeter long allen wrench works really good for that but also keep in mind that you may need a regular allen wrench too if some of the cap screws are super tight okay so we're going to go ahead and pull that off and then install the new one and i'll show you what that looks like so we've got the electronic portion of the valve removed and if you can see there's some of the o-rings that are still stuck to the valve okay and so we need to get those off of there so be mindful of that if you're replacing this valve that the o-rings that seal that can stick to the valve itself and not come off with the electronic portion and then if you install the new valve on top of that you'll just have a big leak got our new valve here and we're about to install that and i like to always make sure that all of the seals are in place and that one didn't fall out or become misplaced and then also when you're installing this if you can see this little pin okay there's a spot on the front of that valve that that rides on there and sets on and so you can kind of get that 
installed wrong and get it in a bind if you're not careful so be very careful when you're installing that that you get it lined up nice and straight before torquing those cap screws we've got our new electronic portion of the eh valve auto steer valve installed here and got our cap screws installed and there is a torque spec on those by the way i believe it's somewhere around seven foot pounds okay and uh so make sure you don't over tighten those they don't have to be just super super tight okay and so we're going to go ahead and put this back together and and give this tractor a quick test run we came out on the road here we're going to run a quick calibration i don't know if you can see that in the corner post display there but we're in our ssu controller and we've got to use our turn signal here to get over to ssu address number 28 It'll be our cow for our new valve okay so we're in address 28 and we're in the cow mode so we'll have to turn our warning lap on and off to enter that okay now it wants us to steer the tractor all the way to the left okay so we're going to steer to the left then we'll hit our warning lap switch again to save that okay now it wants us to steer to the right okay so we're going to steer all the way to the right okay and we'll hit our warning lamp again to save that on and off now we have to hold in on our resume switch in the armrest so we'll hold in our resume switch and now we're actually calibrating the eh valve the electronic portion of the auto track valve can see that in the corner post but it's counting through some numbers there steering all the way to the left and then steer back to the right on its own and basically just finding those parameters for that new valve okay now we're end of calibration okay to save that we'll just turn our warning lamp on and off Okay, so we've saved that. We got us an auto track line made, and so we're going to drive down the road here and uh, see how the auto track operates. Quick recap on this 9220 auto track issue. Okay, we were getting an SSU 182 code, and we went out and verified that code, um, found that we had an internal failure of the electronic portion of the auto track valve, which would be the EH valve. So we installed a new EH valve, ran a calibration, returned the tractor to the field. Uh, customers reported back that the auto track is working fine and uh, we got him up and running. And so quick uh, reminder also that that same style of EH valve is also used on some later model tractors and then also on some sprayers. And those will generate a different code. It's called an SSU 522387.07 which would uh, give you the same results uh, on that failure, but different code, okay? And so just a quick reminder of that. Um, hope some of the tips and, and tricks and things that I showed you helped you out. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we'll be making some other videos soon. And so we'll see you again soon. Larry the Tractor Guy, signing out.